what we are aiming to do today is show you the basics of Dreamweaver. So we're going to go down to Dreamweaver and if you didn't know Dreamweaver is for website offering and I'm go going to go to file new and then it's very important that I go to um I don't go to new I go to the home screen so I'll need to reopen Dreamweaver when you open Dreamweaver for the first time this won't happen so I'm just gonna quit Dreamweaver and as you all have noticed this is on a Mac but this will be very similar on Windows the actual Dreamweaver interface um okay so I'm just gonna let it load and I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna be talking about today what we're gonna be talking about today is something called style sheets that dictates the style of your um website to today we're going to be using pre-made style sheets but as we get further and further on we're going to make our own style sheet so um what you want to do is go down here to dreamweaver site and then you want to give it a meaningful name so i'm just going to call it demo for youtube because that's what it is, is a demo for YouTube. And then you're uh, depending on whether you do or not. Most users probably want to select no. But we'll get into that in another video. And then you definitely want to select the first one. And then you want to take note of where it's saving to and maybe maybe change it and then you want to leave that no you don't you want to just change it to none and select next and then select done and as you can see you have a new website in this pane here so what we're first going to do is we're going to create a blank HTML homepage. So you want to change it to design view if it's not already. And maybe you need to call it homepage. We will just for this demonstration. Obviously this is the first thing your users would see. So, home page, and then we're going to press Command and S. Windows users would press Control and S, or you could go up to File Save, but that's a completely different discussion. I'm just going to go up to File and Save because I don't know why the shortcut's not working. Command S. Let's try again. Oh yeah, I know why it's not working. I can't do that. Um, and then you want to select the save all option. And then you want to make sure you're saving it as index dot html and you also want to make sure it's going in the same folder and then click save and then you'll notice that over here in the files pane of what files are in your website that's been added so that's how you can tell that you've saved it properly so now that we've got the basic home page what we're going to do now is add the style sheet um, so again style sheet is a way of depicting your websites i've already chosen which one i'm going to use go to 
page from sample for this tutorial but see it says style sheet and then um browse through them and decide which one you like remember that this one has got a cream background that will be important for the rest of the tutorial so please please remember that um and we're gonna get into how to make our own style sheets but but yeah and we're just gonna hit create and then make sure you hit view and then you'll get a whole bunch of code here what you just want to do is ignore that and press file save and then press uh, style.css I'm just going to call it S because I'll know it's a style sheet um, and then you'll notice that another thing's appeared here and then when you go back to your home page to apply the style or any style in your style sheet you can have different styles for different pages and we're just going to go to the text menu to the text menu and then go CSS styles and then press attach style sheet and then we're going to go to browse sorry and then we're going to go to browse and we're going to find the folder that we'd saved it in so mine's called demo for youtube and then we're going to find the style sheet and then we're going to press ok and as you notice the things have changed to what the style sheet is so it must have worked and what we're going to do now just to clarify is if i take the line of code out the line of code that is pointing the style sheet because it says it says um it it says let me find it wait i'm in the wrong page i need to go into the code view you don't need to do this but i'm just proving that it is actually linking in there it says css and that's the line of code that's pointing to the style sheet so if i if i took that out look what happens in the design view there is no longer a style sheet but if i don't go through that process again and just undo it or try and undo it undo and uh, put that code back in there it will go back on so if I go into the it's applied back so it's just that string of code and we'll get on to how to write the code and this thing later but, but this was just the starter of expect more dreamweaver tutorials coming soon um have a great day i guess <laughs>